section, we're going to create an analysis. So we're going to go into the Peptide Man app and we're going to choose Create New Analysis. We're going to specify the folder that we're going to save the analysis in. And I'm going to call it the NIST Mab. Okay, and we're going to choose to create an acquire and process method or an acquire and process analysis. So the first stage is to create the processing method. So this is the method that we were just looking at in the first section. So you can see here by selecting the method, you can actually see on the right hand side of the screen the key parameters. Okay, so we can see the SST peptides uh, and we can see the different attributes, the six different attributes that were specified in the method. So once we're happy with the method, we select it and then we go to the second stage in the create analysis workflow and this is where we go into the sample submission part of Waters Connect and we actually set up the, um, the sample list to acquire from. So now we're in the sample submission app. I'm going to open my sample list that is already created. So I'm going to open the, the NIST sample list. Okay, so we have a set of 14 different samples here. And they consist of a mixture of blanks, system suitability test samples, the SSTs, a control, and three unknown samples. So it's quite a small um, sample set, um, but it's just to demonstrate some of the key features of the software. Okay, so these are all NIST, the unknown samples are all NIST triptych digests. The control is just the, the standard triptych digest, and then we have some um, different conditions. So we have some stress conditions as well, so we can compare um, these using the, the peptide MAM workflow. Okay, so we have to specify the sample type. So we have here again blank SST, unknown samples, things like injection volume, sample position, replicates, um, the acquisition method, and the runtime. Okay, so another thing we need to do here is we need to tell the software what to use as the new peak detection reference, that's going to be the control sample, and also the retention time alignment reference. And for that, we normally pick something in the middle of the run. So I'll pick sample two. Okay. So we can see on the left here, we have access to some instrument parameters. So we can, we can set the, um, the LCMS to initial conditions um, to start the flow and make sure everything's equilibrated. We have here the acquisition method. And if I click uh, edit the method, it will open the method in the acquisition method, method editor, which is another app. So we can see here that we have all the um, parameters for the, the BSM. So we have the gradient here, for example. Uh, we have the mass spec settings, so the acuity RDA settings. Um, so for example, this is a full scan with fragmentation um, experiment where we're doing the, the high-low um, fragmentation switching to generate the, um, the fragment data as well. Okay, so it's basically just a, a standard uh, method for, for peptide mapping or peptide MAM. Okay, so we can change the method here, we can save it, we can open another method, um, but I'm going to go back to sample submission now. So once you're happy that everything's ready to go, basically just save and then submit. Once the samples are acquired, they will then begin to be processed. And if we go back to the Peptide MAM app, when the processing's complete, we will come back to the analysis workflow, and then we'll be able to go into the additional steps and 
look at the process data. So we'll do that in the next section.